I stay in the middle of the road, so... <laughs> yeah, you can yeah, hear me just yeah, fine. fine. Okay, pretty good. Hey, what kind of taxes do they pay here? Well, they pay 17% uh, a yearly income tax. Okay. There's no property tax on our pr um, land that's owned, um, private land. Only government land. Really? They charge um, by the square meter. They charge about $1.25. Do you think the government will turn around and start slapping a tax to get more money? Yes, that's exactly what they're doing right now. And being that we were not really, um, we was a duty free, and with the tax, it was a 17% right now how it is. But what they want to do now, on the grocery and all the products, they want to put, it used to be a turnover tax, but it was incorporated. You didn't see it, but what they want to do it now is raise it to a 6% or 5% tax, which a lot of people is really um, going to feel it because um, they have, you, you have a lot of people that's ma making minimum wages and the, the wages has just stayed the same but the tax is going up so uh, somehow the people is feeling it. Okay so I'm just going to turn around here and we're going to come out and take some wood. The Dutch took it over, it's called yeah. Okay, it's for yeah. Dance to Land. Yeah. Yeah. Did you find any buttons from Admiral Phillips? I did, I did. Okay. I found something. Okay, good. Look at that. This is what. Look at this. I don't know if I have it. Is that you? It's American. This is American. This is American. Huh? You're not near anything. Everyone else can. <laughs> Put music to it. Boy, is this beautiful. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you where our penitentiary is. Okay, put in mind this is the Caribbean Sea and um, this is a harbor. Uh, this is not the best beach on the island, but we have uh, 38 more of them, uh, 37 originally, but there's going to be a man-made beach eventually back over there in, in Cape Bay and Radisson. Right up there where you see that uh, little guardhouse way up to the top. Uh, that's where we put up the bad boys <laughs> and that's actually the local people call it the Sea Creek Hotel because if you look straight ahead of you, you'll see the ocean and that's the Atlantic Ocean. You see the white caps? If you ever rent a car and you are driving around the island on the eastern part, you would notify by the white caps that you were on the Atlantic side. As you just continue driving around, then you know eventually you'll come back to the Caribbean Sea. And the Great Bay, this is uh, the Caribbean Sea. So right now uh, we're going to Oyster Pond, and over there there has where the rich and famous live. Uh, I'll show you the big mansions. And before that, I'm going to point out some of the brothels to you. Now, being that St. Martin, uh, Dutch island, as I was telling you earlier, uh, prostitution is legal here. Um, down what here, you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I don't think you want to. Hey, there's some, there's some, there's some rough big fellows in St. Martin would hurt some people. You know, so I don't think you want to. You don't want to go there. Those girls just go back handicap something. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> earn their money. Well, now wait a minute. I don't know, John. Oh my God. I and know the purple too. <laughs>
right to the right, you see that's a big villa and all over there has very houses. And this is the area there where a lot of retiree people live. Uh, you can't just get in there like that. You have to uh, has a check the security. And to the left, you can see where they start to go around on the peninsula, the peninsula where they're going to be building all those big houses go straight around into the U shape. Um, those houses there can go anywhere from a million and a half to two million dollars. And this is the back road. Put in mind that this is not the official show road. Uh, the other road, you're going to see it when we get close to the rest thing. And the next stop is going to be a 15 minute stop on the beach. And you guys can, you guys want to just take a little plunge into the uh, water or you want to just walk on the beach for a while, uh, feel free to smoke a cigarette. This will be the time we take a little break, you know, and then another stop after this will be to the Orient Beach where that's a uh, nude beach, but it's optional, meaning that if you want to get all over 10 and try to look like me in one week, don't try it. It took me 48 years to look like this, so you got some catch. <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> I don't need the good ones. <laughs> Yeah, when you get rebit in Agram, they're pretty big. <laughs> That's why we're all drinking. <laughs> Beside Mr. Busby's, it's for sale. That's a book and peel. I think so. yeah, book and peel, yeah. <laughs> but what is the tree right there that has the little pods? See the little pods, the seeds? What is that tree? That's a that's a um a wild flamboy a wild flamboyant. 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 It's wild, but it would never mature. Like right now they're on the Orient Beach just galloping with people that they do like a horse, they rent horse. Okay, this area here now is getting very close to grain cars and I wanna point out like Right here by the return, if you make a right turn, you'll be going to Penis Island, Pinot Island, actually. <laughs> and um, it's a very nice island to go if you maybe want to do a day trip there. I think the boat would, um, by, um, the, it's a boat called the Apache, which now by activities, see Pinot Island yeah. over there, but it's a bigger sign right here. And Right here, this would make a right turn. You're going to Pinal Island, ferries over there, and right over here, this is a, like an industrial zone where you have a lot of different things, a material for building houses. And what we're going to do, we're going to go on the back side of our Marigold. And um, on both islands, we we have desalinized drinking water, which means we convert seawater into drinking water. Like a Ruber and Curacao. It's a little more expensive, but it's safe. These are the engines that provide the currents. On the French side, there's 220 current, and on the Dutch side, there is um, 110. But both of the island has desalinized water.